Hey YouTube, if you're thinking about starting a home-based business, your spouse may be your biggest asset or your biggest challenge. Let me tell you a few things I learned. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will. And I'm a 65-year-old man learning Fusion 360 and 3D printing so I can sell my STL files on a print-on-demand platform with Amazon while doing it on YouTube. Welcome to the chaos. Sounds like a lot to do, and it is. And if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And then I probably wouldn't because there wouldn't be any room but that's fine. So as I've said in the last video, I was going to take out one of the printers out to my shop outside, and I was going to set it up and print off some ASA. Um, I did do that, and the first print turned out like this. Uh, not very pretty. Um, yeah, it was just a glob. And what it was, it's just my bill plate. I definitely had the wrong bill plate for it. So... I removed the gold bill plate that I got from Bamboo and went to um, a little smoother textured plate and it stuck on pretty good. Um, I did have a little bit of lift um, right in here on the corners and as you can tell from the part, um, it wasn't bad and, and what's so good about it is, I mean, I wouldn't say it's good, what's, what's wow, that, it looks pretty rough on the camera. It doesn't look as rough there, but um, it actually, this part goes through the wall, so you don't even get to see it. This is all you really see, and it's just, um, it's a collar for my dryer vent. We have a brick wall, and it doesn't seem to go through far enough, so I'm going to tap con this in and paint the screws black, and, and then I'll be able to get my vent in there easily. Uh, but um, ASA... I guess it is more of a challenge, and as if we step up in filament, I guess I'm going to learn that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and push some of the nylon carbon fiber through um, the extruder and see if I can't uh, print the same item um, through that. Um, over the next couple of days, I think, I'm going to try to get out there to do it anyway. Um, it's been so busy lately. I, 40 hours a week, YouTube, Fusion, the whole nine yards. Um, if it wasn't for the support from my wife, I don't know what I would do. Um, anyway, I wanted to go over this real quick before I jumped into the challenges that you might have trying to start a home-based business uh, with a spouse, and especially you know if they work too, and um, you know who who does all the chores and stuff. Because I really I get home and I take a shower and do my uh, dinner and then I'm in here uh, for the next three to four hours uh, Jen already in bed by the time I get out of here uh, So I've really picked up another job of 20 hours a week just doing YouTube not including the other stuff that I do So it gets pretty difficult um, She stepped up and she does most of the cooking um, I try to clean up afterwards, you know, or at least help uh, because I'm already in there uh, so uh, doing that and then she takes care of my laundry always she's always done that I've always taken care of the yard uh, so I take care of that and the vehicles and and you know make sure the bills are paid and she takes care of everything else I mean literally the dogs the cats the house cleaning the washing of the clothes everything so that I can pursue this craft uh, now we didn't go into it blindsided in any way um, we talked about it for months uh, we watched YouTube videos we've been a youtubers for a, quite a while we're premium and if you're not a premium subscriber you should be I, I know it's $15 a month but it's a whole different platform without commercials I sit there and I can sit there for hours and never see a commercial unless you put it in the video which some people do and that'd be nice to have that kind of money but yeah 
it, it takes two to do this type of thing. It, it's not just you going into the bedroom or your office and making a video and thinking that the whole world's just going to stop and you don't have any responsibilities. Now, if you're by yourself, then it's really going to suck <laughs> for you. Uh, but, um, yeah. Um, if you've gotten this far, if you would, give me a like and a subscribe. I forget to ask you guys to do that all the time, and, and I still get it. It, it just amazes me. Um, but I, I appreciate it. It really helps the channel um, to move forward. I um, it, it, it gives me a, a lift every day to go in here and, and see the changes that we've made. All right, YouTube. I want to thank you if you watched this long. I'll be printing nylon carbon fiber next, and I hope you're there with me. Thank you so much, YouTube. See ya.